Hello everyone, today I'm going to present you 10 manga a man what a webtoon you maybe haven't read and could find interesting. Personally, I did for all of them. Enjoy the video and let's begin with the first one. Number 1. Soulwinder is a semi-completed, I will explain that at the end of this section. Thriller webtoon made by Android underscore K05, where we follow Lillians, in the city of Zale, as the clockworker. The most important work in this city, maintain the great contraption that fuel the city with energy. There is 61 chapter that you can read, the art is gorgeous and each episode is accompanied by music made for the episode and what it tells. Now we come to the part of the semi-completed state I talked about earlier. The webtoon itself has been finished as it won't have any more updates, but the story will continue by other means. As stated by the creators, though they also said that it will take an unknown amount of time for them to publish anything else. If you want more info, you can go on their Discord server. Number 2. Crimson Karma, by Lemon Frog, is a finished manhwa about Keisha Del Roman, a soldier crafted to become an assassin, who since long ago, has lost her emotion and lived the life of a killing machine, only fueled by the orders from her superiors. Though, one day, those superiors became afraid of her and decided to silence her so she won't be able to get back at them. Thus Keisha died at the hand of her allies and awoken herself in a world that she did not know filled with swords and magic. This manwa dwells in what it is to be human and mix fantasy with drama and action. Finally, the art is beautiful and the story is very interesting. Number 3. Little Matcha Girl, this webtoon by Mame, is an ongoing webtoon about a young girl named Matilda, who is from a family of necromancer that want her to follow the family tradition even though she only wants to be a RuneTube star. The story mix comedy, fantasy and mystery very well and the art makes the all much more enjoyable. There is actually 110 free chapter on webtoon, and it updates every Tuesday. Number 4. Yofukashi no Yuta, an ongoing manga by Kotoyama, centers around Yamori Ku, a 14-year-old boy who stopped going to school and thus was unable to sleep at night, and Nanakusa Nazuna, a Mr. IOU's girl that the young boy encounter when he begin his first night stroll. I will let you discover the rest of the story. This manga explores the theme of love, what is a human, and, later on, the consequences of trying to get revenge. This one is a favorite of mine, I hope you will enjoy it as much as I did. Number 5. Yuzuzumi no Hate, by Iwamune Haruo is an ongoing manga set in a post-apocalyptic world where the majority of mankind died due to the arrival of alien bringing with them a mysterious infection, crystalliosis. We follow a young girl as she go through a destroyed city with two missions, purify the world of the infection, and find human survivor. Even though this manga is recent, with only 11 chapters available in English, each one of them keep you interested on what is going to happen next and the art just makes the manga even more sublime. Number 6. Koko W.A. I. Makara Rinri Desu, or, We Shall Now Begins Ethics, by Amei Shirori is an ongoing, thought-provoking manga that delves into the ethical dilemmas of modern society. The story follows a high school ethics teacher and the different students he will have through the years. As a teacher, he will try to help them with their personnel problem and teach them that there is no true right or wrong things. With a blend of psychological depth and compelling character development, the manga offers readers a captivating exploration of the gray areas between right and wrong. For now 35 chapters can be read in English. Number 7. Everywhere and Nowhere is an ongoing, on hiatus, comedy webtoon created by Meriwether, centered around Anne and William, two immortal time traveler that do what they want, go where and when they want, experiencing things they wouldn't have been able to if they stayed at their medieval era. There is currently 235 chapters available freely, dispatched on three seasons. Number 8. Yokohama Kaidashi Kiku created by Hitoshi Ashinano, completed in 2016 is a serene and contemplative manga set in a post-apocalyptic world. The story follows Alpha, a robot running a cafe in a quiet coastal town, 
as she documents the changing world and the interactions between humans and their environment. Through its beautifully detailed art and introspective narrative, the manga explores themes of tranquility, impermanence, and the passage of time. It's a unique blend of slice of life and science fiction that captivates readers with its gentle storytelling and evocative atmosphere. Number 9. The Return of the Crazy Demon is an ongoing manhwa, by Jin Seong Yu, with main war actor, a certain Yizaha, known as the Crazy Demon for martial arts, that died after trying to steal an important object from the demon cult. Contrary to everything, when he opened his eyes, he was back to when he was a young waiter at an inn with all of his memory intact. This one is a little particular due to the fact that, as the title say it, the protagonist is really crazy, doing things like killing on a whim or speaking of things that can only make sense if you are as crazy as him. The art is incredibly stunning also, with currently 81 chapter that can be found in English. Number 10. Pick Me Up, Infant Garcha, is an ongoing manhwa by her mode and delivered by Red Eye Studio, the studio that made the infamous solo leveling. We follow Loki, the fifth best player of the most brutally difficult Garcha game, Pick Me Up, as he get transported in the game as a one-star hero and where defeat mean death. How will Loki be able to survive even though he is like a mob in this impossible game? 53 chapters have been translated in English and a new one comes out every week. That's all for this one everyone, tell me if you those manga or manwa interested you, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a nice day.